uh, by Intelligent Readers. We are here with Vili. Actually, pretty close. You have to kind of really put the elf bean. Yes. From Sentence, and we are here to speak about the brand new album, The Funeral Album. And uh, first of all, I would like you to introduce yourself to our readers and viewers uh, and tell us how it's going with the promo tour for the new album. Okay, hi, they left from Sentence, and uh, we arrived to Paris this morning and started this uh, infernal promotion already. And so far, I think it's a good, a lot of interesting questions. And um, I'm sadly happy about to talk on the other. So, what I'm proposing you is to speak about the world discography of the band. Sorry? To speak about the world discography of the band uh, from the first album to the last. And uh, as you joined the band in the middle of the discography, uh, you will tell me what you are thinking about the first album, and then you will tell me a bit more about the rest that you are participating in. Okay, let's start from the Shadows of the Past. Yes, the first one. Well, this is a re edition. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the only sentenced album that I really haven't listened to that much because okay, people are gonna kill me now. I don't like the album that much. So uh, I don't have really that much to say about that album because I haven't really listened to it. So if it's okay, we can change it. To the next one. <laughs> This, this album was uh, not from here, it was like um, even um, I didn't know anything about the band. I, uh, a friend of mine introduced me to this album and uh, even to, the, to this day I listen to it sometimes when I get drunk because uh, the energy and everything just blows me away. And the year, this, at the time this came out, there wasn't anything like this in the nothing, so it was, uh, actually I remember pretty correctly, I was at my friend's house, we were drinking beer or whatever, he put this on, and I was like, what is this, it was like said that it is bad to me, I was like, no, we don't care about this, so uh, I have a lot of good memories with this one, so if you haven't heard this, check this out. Yes, and for most of your old fans, this is one of your best, well, one of the best of the band. Yeah, this is uh, very different from the West of the Yeah, yeah, but it's uh, it's uh, like I said, the time it came out, there wasn't anything like that in Finland. No way. There's a lot of good memories <laughs> cool. with that album. Then we go to the next one, which is the first one I've bought. I began listening to Sentence with that one. So, what your opinion on it? Because it's really different uh, from this album, from the rest of the two first ones. Amok, it's the first time I saw a video from Sentence to Song Nefertiti. And uh, I remember I was like having a flu, a really bad fever at the time, and I was just laying on the sofa and it came out on Headbangers Ball. And uh, this is. I can't really talk about the musical influences and everything like that because I wasn't in the band at that time. But I think this album started the whole melodic, more song-oriented way with singers. And uh, this is one of my favorites too. Mm -hmm. At that time, it's like there, there is one of my favorite songs, "Dance on the Graves." Yeah. Fucking love. It. <laughs> but at that time, like, the band changed completely and found its musical direction. I would say because the next one are in the ways that a monk started it, musically speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are going on the next one so down to the first one. You participated, yeah? So you were 
This album has always a special place in my heart because that was the first one, like you said, and uh, it's kind of funny times because I was in the band like three weeks and we already went to uh, Germany Dortmund to record this album, so I was in the process to get to know the guys and also uh, try to do my best on vocals. And, uh, Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, lot of nice memories there. We got in trouble with some bikers. And that's a whole different story. But still, uh, actually, this is one of the albums that I haven't heard listened to that much. And the reason is that I hate my old songs. <laughs> but musically, this is uh, on this album, I think. There is a couple of other songs. No, I'm not going to name them. But yes. Okay, I'll give you one. Bleed. I love to play one. Yeah, this is. Uh, this brings back a lot of nice memories. And musically, like you said, it started. Uh, it started this whole thing and uh, the whole one uh, of the song oriented thing. I guess the whole aggress aggression and anger and frustration or whatever evolved from the music more into the lyrics, like even more into the lyrics. Even though on North from here there's pretty angry lyrics, but uh, still. Mm -hmm. You're looking at the jacket with some. Your eyes are blinking. <laughs> That reminds you a lot, I think. So um, now we are with Frozen, which is one of my favorites. And um, I always liked, liked the cover, which fits perfectly with the atmosphere in the album, which is really cool. Yeah. And uh, why, is this cold, why is this coldness in that album? When you live like uh, up north, like we do, so it's kind of in our blood. And, uh, I guess we process every thought, joy, anger, sorrow, whatever, through a block of ice, if you will. But uh, to me, this was the first time that I, I mean, when we started to record this, I really felt like I was a part of the band because I took part in the songwriting. There's two of my songs on this album. And we did it also in the same studio. At, uh, The tours after this album are, uh, there are a couple of the, couple of the best shows we ever did and uh, this whole 98-99 to us was, uh, was a really good year because we really took a step a bit higher with this album. And musically, I guess it's maybe a bit lighter, I don't know. Not like music, maybe sound-wise a bit lighter than uh, down is. Maybe down is a bit more heavier mm -hmm. on the sound-wise, but uh, musically to me it's not that different. And to compare one album to another, it's kind of stupid because we already did this and there's like a year and a half in between these. So uh, to compare this, okay, this is better than this. Of course it is because it's kind of fresh, but still if you go back to this, listen to it, Maybe this is not better than this, you know, it's hard as a member of this band to uh, compare those things. Because every album has, it, has their memories. Specificity is also. Yeah. And now my second best, the red one I would say. Jurassic <laughs> Park. <laughs> also, <laughs> yes. 